Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. That charged batteries and everything. This particular spot where my garage is, you know, if it's sunny out, even if it's pretty cold, like below 30, um, this is not a bad spot to work. The sun kind of beats in. You guys can see I have this uh, Mylar reflective ceiling and it, it's, it seems to, it's not a bad place to work. So when it's in the 40s and, you know, sunny, it's, it's really nice. Anyway, today's topic, we're back on, this is that 70cc pit bike. Once again, I bought it at a car show. It's just a piece of junk. I use it as my test bed for carburetors and um, ignition systems and whatever I'm playing with. If you watched my last video, and I should put these all in a playlist, um, my last video talked about firing this thing up on a pit bike ignition system. But let's say for some reason you probe your stator wire and you get an open circuit or a dead short, which means, oh shoot, the reason why my bike won't run is because my... Um, my stator's no good. There is a way around it. You can use something known as a GY6 ignition system and you could see this is the racing version racing six pin DC CDI box for scooter GY6 and it's got all that stuff there. Anyway you could buy the box and the coil for about twelve dollars and then you could get the um, the wire harness here that way you don't have to try to solder wires there which I really don't recommend doing anyway and you could you can buy that for another 13 so if you put those two numbers together what do you get somewhere around 25 26 bucks so call it 30 bucks and what I did here is that's the GY6 CDI. There's the coil. I went to the trouble of adding this really cool bat switch. And when you turn it on, the red, the end of it turns red like that. Right? I think you guys can see that. Yeah, good. And I also put um, eight AA batteries and an AA battery, or all these carbon zinc batteries, are about a volt and a half each. So you can see I have 12 volts right here. So, I put it all in a nice little box as I have here. Um, if you have an onboard battery, you can run the 12 volts into that. Um, and they also sell this particular ignition system. And you got to make sure you get the DC one because the AC one will not work. But they, they sell it and it's um, it comes like... in a box that looks like that. It's a Kasai, upside down, but the Kasai. Um, and that's kind of supposedly a little higher power and all the other stuff. Um, this one is supposedly a racing one also. Um, anyway, so you can use that as your ignition system, and you take another variable out of the equation. You don't have to worry about if the stator is any good. But just quickly, um, what I'm doing is, once again, I'm using my capacitor pack as a battery on this thing, and uh, chokes on, powers on, it should fire right up. I fired it up a couple of times, it might be. So, there you go. Um... If I'm given a choice, when I first walk up to any of these bikes that are like an unknown, I normally put this thing on there. 
And the reason why is the only thing I'm asking from the motor, other than ground, is a, a functional pulse generator. Right? And you can see how easily it fires up. It really makes life um, pretty pretty nice, right? I, I, don't, I don't have to think of it. The bike fires up, it runs, it's all good. Um, what I also like about about the self-powered ignition systems is if let's say your battery is a little weak and you're not able to turn it over very well or your starter is a little bit of slow you're not counting on how fast the engine's turning over to generate your spark you know what your spark is going to be because your 12 volts is giving it to you you're also not wondering you, you know do i have a weak um, stator, which is why I'm not getting spark. It, it takes the whole stator equation, uh, the st stator input out of the equation. All you have to think about, do I have a pulse generator or don't I have a pulse generator? Um, I had one bike that threw me with this whole bit, and it was um, my buddy Ed Moore's, um, that's a 250SX. I rigged up the whole rig this, with this thing, and I set it on there, and I put a carburetor on it, and I hooked it up, and I uh, went to start it, and she wouldn't start. So I'm like, really? So um, Harvey didn't go through the trouble of checking the pulse generator. I then checked the pulse generator, and I got an open circuit. So I'm like, wow, this is the first one of these I saw. Anyway, I took the engine apart, and if you guys go look, you'll find some videos on it. And you realize that the way that year, the pulse generator actually had um, slip-on connectors. It had wires on it, but you actually had to hook it up. And the connectors were under oil. They, they were in the oil bath. And um, one, one of the connectors opened up. So um, I lost, I basically lost attachment to the, um, to, to the pulse generator. Since then, I've, uh, I opened that, I opened it up and I took the connectors off and I soldered the wires up. Then I covered them with that liquid tape stuff. And then I went through the trouble of putting shrink wrap over the liquid tape. So we'll see how well it, it holds up. But, um, and I did. I did manage to get to get that guy started, um, but it was actually a bit of a surprise when I hooked everything up and it didn't fire up. And then I did the troubleshooting, and it was like, oh shoot! I never ever would have guessed that the um, that I was going to have an open for the pulse generator. So, and it turns out it was a connection issue. Anyway, I hope I hope this helps. Um, Depending on which wire harness you get, um, this particular one uh, from this particular supplier, the wires are the proper colors. Um, this this one I used here. If you look at some of the wire colors, obviously the red and black is the right wire color for power. But they have black and white and green. Um, both of those are going to ground. Um, normally the black and white is the off switch. Uh, black and yellow goes over to the coil as it always does. Um, they just have blue. I'm not seeing a white stripe on it. Which goes out to the pulse generator. And that's, that's all the wires you have. I mean, literally. The box I got on eBay, the switch I got on eBay, the battery holder I got on eBay. I mean, you can you could basically smash this together for something like 50 bucks, you know, 40, 50 bucks. Um, my buddy Calvin says I should uh, I should build a bunch of them and and market them for 99.95 or something. Um, I it. It seems to work pretty good on China clones. It seems to work on Hondas. Um, it does work on Yamaha golf cart engines. Um, it works on pit bikes. Um, but I'm sure whoever gives me the 
will uh, call me up and tell me that uh, that for whatever reason there, y you know, Ping Wang Kong bike won't start on it and you know could I have a refund and you know cause me all kinds of trouble so if I was going to sell a million of them I wouldn't mind uh, refunding one or two but if you're if I'm going to sell at the most like 30 and probably you know a few of those will have to go back you go through the numbers I don't think it adds uh, it works out for me all right, folks, I really, really want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.